Okay, students, so we're going to talk to you about how to use Google Sheets for sorting data and finding a five number summary. So let's start here. Here's your data. You can see our data is listed over here. First thing that want, we might want to do is sort the data. So you can take out the data, copy it. The way you can copy it is you click Edit, Copy, and then you can paste it here by clicking Edit, Paste. And then you can click on the Data button and actually sort it. So you can see it says sorted A through Z, that means it puts it in alphabetical order. And now it's sorted at A through Z. So now all of our data is in order. The five number summary is things like minimum, quartile one, median, quartile three, maximum. So let's talk about how to calculate the minimum first. We can see it's one. But the way you can do it is you can actually type in the equals button, start typing out the word minimum, M, I, N, and it suggests minimum value of a numerical data set. Let's click there and let's select our data set. So now that I've selected my data set by clicking and dragging down, I can press enter and it gives me my minimum. It works the same way for the maximum. Equals M A X maximum in a data set. Drag it down and I have my maximum. You can even do the median. Equals M E D median gets suggested. Click on median. Click here. Drag down. Let go of your click. Press enter. Median. Now let's check the median to make sure that's true. So this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 pieces of data which means the median which is halfway through we look at the first six one two three four five six it should be halfway between five and six which five point five is halfway between five and six now for whatever reason the data does not uh, sorry the spreadsheet does not calculate quartile one and three properly so you have to do this by hand so let's select our sorted data. I'm just going to put a box around it so you can see which data I'm talking about. The first half of it is right there. That's the first six. And then we'll put a, a line just so you can see the first six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now, in that first six, here's the first three, and there's the second so let's color that just so you can see it a little bit better. Here's the first three. From here to here is the second three. I'll use another color. So that's the first half of our data. And remember, quartile one is halfway through. So that's the average between those two numbers, between two and four. So my quartile one is a value of three because it's halfway between those two numbers right there. Quartile 3, remember it's halfway through the second part of my data. Let's go ahead and divide up my data just like I did a second ago. We'll use orange this time. So that's the first few pieces. Here's the second few pieces just so you can see what it looks like. And that's the midpoint right there between 8 and 9, which means halfway between 8 and 9 is 7.5, or is 8.5. That's my quartile three. So now I have all the pieces I need for my five number summary if I'm making a box plot. Remember the inner quartile range is the distance between quartile one and quartile three. So if you want to calculate that, you can say, so if we subtract, so the third quartile from the first quartile, we'll get the inner quartile range. So click here equals quartile 3, I can click on it, minus quartile 1, actually I'll, I'll click on the quartile 1 right there, and I press enter, it subtracts it, the 8.5 minus 3, and the inner quartile range is 5.5. Now just for fun, if you want to calculate the average of our data, I can type in equals average 
click on average and I can select my data. And that's the average of my data. Hopefully this has been helpful. If you have any questions, let me